What's up, YouTube? This is Yu Gi Oh! 2 bringing you my Infernity deck profile. Uh, I'm bringing you this Infernity deck profile. It's going to be posted on Darkwell and Mofo's channel because he's just an awesome person for helping me. And uh, I'm just going to go through the deck list real quick. And then for more information about the deck, I'm going to have an entire deck profile on my own channel later. And I'm going to talk about the, the card choices, the tactics I use, stuff like that. So basically, I have one Armageddon Knight, two Dark Gruffers. I'm running two Infernity Archer. Obviously the three Arch Fiend. I play the one tuner, one Avenger, one Mirage, the three Necromancer, two Stygian Street Patrol. I run the Allure of Darkness, Book of Moon, Foolish Burial, Heavy, Infernity Launcher. I run the entire playset of uh, Instant Fusion. Monster Reborn, three MST, the one for one, two Duality, and a Reinforcements of the Army. Then I have the three Barrier, three Infernity Break, a Psalm Judgment, and I main two Vanity's Emptiness. As for the side deck, I have one Janix Ally Doer Dark, Goblin of Greed, an Infernity General, two Summoner Monk, a Dark Hole, two Night Beams, two Twister, three Eradicator Virus, and two Mind Drain. The extra deck is two Fusions, Dark Fire Dragon, for the instant fusion, obviously. Uh, I have a Cataster, Hundred Eyes, Infernity Doom Dragon, Mist Worms, Stardust, Stygian Sergeants. Void Ogre, Diamond Direwolf, uh, Gaga Cowboy, Lava Chain, Levier, Shockmaster, and the Black Ship of Corn. As I'm probably sure most of you are wondering why I run the Archer. Well, in my full profile, I'll talk more about that and a lot of my side deck choices. But basically, Archer is great for special summoning Dark Ruffer, and he makes great um, OTK capabilities. He can just, you know, the attacking directly, he's one of the strongest monsters that can attack directly. And uh, he's special summonable with Stygian Street Patrol, so it's very hard to have him actually locked in your hand and you know messing up your plays. It rarely ever happens. I mean, worst case scenario, you'll be able to tribute summon him by tributing something you brought out with Instant Fusion. Something. It's always possible. And uh, maining the Lord of Darkness is great because the deck really doesn't have any draw power whatsoever. So you're literally playing with what you opened up with. And if you can draw the Lord of Darkness opening hand, it's almost always great. It also helps get rid of you know any clogged monsters or anything like that. The duality is obviously great for uh, for consistency. No no other doubt about that. Uh, I play the entire playset of Instant Fusion because once again no draw power, so I want to make sure I can open up with it because the plays with Laval Chain, Laval Chain is just they're too good. Those plays are amazing. Uh, the side deck I I side the two Summoner Monks because a lot of decks make it really really hard for me to synchro. Mostly evil swarms because you know Ophion won't let me bring out any of my uh, level five or higher synchros, and so the summoner monks come in for the archers because I won't be able to special summon the archers, and then Dura Dark is amazing for uh, for pulling you know trying to get them to drop that Valor or just trying to destroy the Ophion for free. There goes everything they have. Uh, the the Goblin of Greed is excellent against. Um, E dragons because they won't be able to drop any of their uh, monsters from their hand. The general is for the three eradicator viruses. It's really easy to get general out. You can just special summon him with necromancer and then tributing him for eradicator makes him a easily recoverable monster that you can tribute, similar to what Dark Worlds do. The mind drain is obviously for opponents that have too many hand traps or E dragons, obviously. Uh, Night Beam works great against everyone. Twister is a personal favorite I have for decks that will side continuous things against me or decks that main a lot of continuous spell traps. And as for the extra deck, the only thing here that I would possibly change is the uh, the Black Ship of Corn. Once uh, Key Beetle, Master Key Beetle comes out, that's going to be Master Key Beetle. It'll make dropping Eradicator so much easier for me. And I won't have to side General because he actually is someone that can get clogged in your hand requiring two tributes and stuff. But yeah, that's my deck profile, and uh, I'm going to have an entire uh, in-depth study of what I use and how I play with the deck later on in my own profile. So definitely come uh, check it out and subscribe. And make sure you like the video. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Dark World.